Hey there, everybody. It's Rev Kev here. Pray you're having an amazing day today. So we have entered week five of working from home, kids doing school from home, everybody staying home. <laughs> we kind of got it now down to basically I go out once a week to pick up groceries and essential items. And that's about it. We go for a little bit of a family walk. We take the dog out, get some fresh air. But we're really kind of practicing this uh, physical distancing and the staying home as being recommended by the health professionals here in our city and in our country of Canada. So we've been playing a lot of games. So I started a series of videos right before kind of the height of this staying home. I was still going into the office and kind of making videos, things like that. So as I've been adjusting to working from home, my YouTube channel has been put on the back burner for a little bit, but I'm getting back into it today as my get back organized kind of thing. So I want to get back on talking about some of my favorite board games. Now I had a list of games that I was going to do to encourage you to pick these things up and play them with your family. Um, I'm going to put the link right up here of a couple of the games that I had done already. You can check those out. But we just ordered a new game. And this one I ordered a while ago. I'll, I'll admit it, this one's hard to find. But if you can find this game, your family will have an absolute blast. This game is 221B Baker Street. Dun, 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 dun. If you like Sherlock, you like Sherlock Holmes, you like a good mystery, this game is incredible. We have been playing this since it came in. This game is like Clue on steroids. This game is just amazing. The board is kind of just the streets of London and you play an inspector at 221B Baker Street, and there's a case that you have to solve. The basic game here comes with 75 unique cases that you have to solve, so there's a lot of playability with just the one box. There are tons of starter, uh, sorry, add-ons that you can get. I think that comes up to like 200 or 300 cases that are available. It's just staggering, um, but they're really great brain twisters. It's not just go around and collect cards like in Clue. Clue's a fun game, especially if you have younger kids, but this just takes it to the next level. You gotta think, and there's word riddles and word play, and you gotta figure out some different things and how different locations give you a clue that lead you could lead you astray or actually lead you to find the murderer, the weapon, the motive, all the where the items are hidden, whatever the case is you're trying to solve. So we have been having a real blast with this. My wife is completely undefeated right now, so we're going to have to play this again real soon because we've played five of the 75 missions. She solved four of them, and no one solved one of them. Everyone was wrong. So we got to take her down. So this is just a new family game that we picked up, 221B Baker Street. Again, it was tricky for me to find it. I, it wasn't easy to find, but it's worth it. It was so worth it. The game itself only cost me about 40 bucks plus some shipping, which is a cheap price for such a great game. So encourage you, search for it, find it online, find wherever you can get it. This is a great family game to add to your collection. I mean, you can see behind me. I've, I've got a decent-sized collection of games here. It's not huge, but I'm pretty proud of it. So we're going to be doing some more reports uh, on some great games that you can be playing with your family during this time of uh, physical distancing and isolation. So until the next video, just God bless you. I so appreciate each and every one of you. I love that you comment below. would love to know what games your family are playing. If you got some recommendations for me, always love hearing about a new game to play. So put those in the comments section below as well. And until the next video, God bless you and look forward to talking to you again real soon. Take care, everybody.